All right, I'm here today to show you a little bit more about this first layer of planking that we're putting on the boat here now. It's stripped planking, it's cut an inch and three quarters wide and it's five eighths of an inch thick. Now, I built a boat with strip planking way back in 1967 and uh, it was that convex concave strip planking. I didn't like it because I didn't like the edge of the planking and uh, uh, showing the way it did. And when you smoothed it up, you lose an awful lot of thickness to the concave convex business going around the corners like this. So it was never something I wanted to do again. And uh, I wanted to strip plank a hull. And I've always thought of progressive bevel saw in the strip planking instead of having this large glue line on the inside when you're going around a futter curve or a large glue line on the outside when you're going around the curvature of the hull. So, you know, it was just something that I came up with and this is the first opportunity we've had really to see how well it works. And obviously we've got quite a bit of it on already. This is all sawn to a progressive bevel so that the glue line on the inside of the boat and the glue line on the outside of the boat look exactly the same. It's really nice. You don't use that much glue. It, it mates up really nice. It, it does a terrific job. So I wanted to show you the methods I use to, uh, to lift the bevels first. Now, you know, I could take the bevel between the top of this plank and that frame with like a bevel set and then discover what that bevel is onto a protractor, but it's really quite a bit of work. It just takes time and I didn't like the idea of it. So what I've done was I saw these little blocks here individually to different degrees. This one's sawn 90 degrees on the top and 90 on the bottom. This one's 90 on the top and 0.5 on the bottom. This one's 90 on the top and one degree on the bottom. And they go right up to three and a half degrees here. So all I have to do is pick up the block, put it up on there and see how it fits and see which one I want. And once, once I determine what the bevel actually is, I'll mark it down in the frame right here. So I'm gonna pick up uh, say uh, one that's got no bevel on it at all. This one's zero and I'm going to put it up on there and just take a look at it and it has a little bit of an open space on the inside of it so I'm just going to take and check out. Well I'm going to go up to one degree here and see how this one fits. Now it's a little bit clumsy but it really works pretty well. Oh yeah see that one works really really nice. That's one degree right there. So I'm going to take a magic marker I'm going to put one degree right here. Now we're going to move on to the next one. And uh, I'll take that one degree block and put it up on there. And it does not fit exactly right. If you push it down against the plank tight, it's got a little space between the frame and the back of the block. So I know that that one's not right. I'm going to go right up to two degrees right here and set that block up on there. And that one fits really, really nice right there. So what I'm going to do is mark it right down here, two degrees, two degrees right there. Now I'm going to move up and I can tell you for sure that this one's going to end up two and a half or three degrees. And that's not even enough. That's two and a half. So we're going to go up to three degrees and that fits perfect. So that one's three degrees there. And I believe that this one's going to go back down a little bit to two and a half degrees here. That one fits really nice right there, 2.5. So basically what I'm going to do is discover the angle between the top edge of this plank and the outboard edge of the frame. And it changes as you go because the curvature of the hull changes as you go along. So basically we just discover what they are and we write them down. This one's going to be 2 degrees, 2 degrees. These are already done once already by Ken. and. Uh, it's worked out fine so we know what they are and that is how we lift them up right there now I'm gonna put these blocks away and I have with me today Fred Lawrenson and Fred is gonna pick up the other end of this plank and we're just gonna hold it up in place and transfer the degrees onto the plank this is one degree this is two degrees three 2.5, back down to 2, 2, 2, 1.5, 1, 1.5, 1, 1. 
and uh, we've got 0.5 the rest of the way, right? Yes. Okay, what we're going to do is just mark this right down here, 0.5, 0.5. So there you have the degrees marked on to the outboard side of that plank, and I'm going to saw it to that progressive bevel in a table saw. Now, the only other thing I wanted to mention to you here while I'm here is, is that we've done this, we've got the planking to be an inch and three quarter on the inside so that we can measure against the frames to see how parallel or congruent we are with the shear. The idea here is to apply the strip planking so that as we go along it comes out even when the, with the shear when we get there and we have to measure it against the frames to do it. So we're trying to keep the inside of the plank a consistent width, right? So what's going to happen when I saw this is I'm actually going to be sawing it to an inch and three quarters. It's now it's two inches, but it's going to have the progressive bevel. The widest part against the frame will be two inches. Now, so the bevel is a deduction from the width of an inch and three quarters. As we get around the curvature of the hull up top, the bevel is actually going to be added to the inch and three quarters. And basically all it means is that we'll have to put the fence on the other side of the table saw when we rip that piece. So basically right now we're going to take this over to the table saw and show you a progressive bevel rip on the table saw. Well, I'm here at the table saw now and we're about to do a progressive bevel rip on the table saw on this one piece of strip planking that I had copied the bevels down on. Now, the thing that I'd like you to know before we go on is I'm actually going to do both pieces, the starboard side one and then I'm going to cut the port side one. We've copied the degrees from this starboard side one onto the one on the port side and I've got it resting here behind me. So, uh, as I rip this, when it finishes up, it's going to be on uh, 0.5 degrees and it'll be poised to start off the other one. On the starboard side, we're ripping them from aft forward, and on the port side, we're ripping them from forward aft. And then once it's ripped, we have to turn that piece around and then put it on the port side of the boat. So we're going to do both of them. And, uh, you know, it's a pretty interesting situation here. I've done progressive bevel ripping on a table saw before, and uh, it's been different purposes than this. This is the first time that I know of that anyone's done progressive bevel sawing strip planking. So it's pretty easy to do really. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do really right now is just start up the phase converter so that I can start the table saw and we've got a vacuum cleaner on the table saw. We don't make a dusty mess. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to have Ken sit right down here beside me and he's going to have his eye on the degree readout on the table saw. And as I call out the degrees to him, as I saw, he's going to change the bevel on the table saw as we saw. So hopefully what it'll do is it'll make this piece match up with the bevels that are required on the boat perfectly well and uh, it just it just like I say it saves uh, you have to rip it anyhow and uh, it saves a lot of time it saves an awful lot of glue it does a really nice job so this is what we've, we've uh, decided to do and we're going to do it on the whole boat it's quite easy actually so let's get started I'm going to reach behind me and start up the phase converter and we're going to start the vacuum cleaner and the table saw now I'm going to be calling the degrees out to Ken and Ken is watching the degree readout on the machine so he's going to change it as I call the degrees out. So we're at one degree, Ken. One degree. One and a half. Two degrees. Two and a half degrees. Three. Back down to two and three quarters, two and a half, two and a quarter, two. All right, right on two degrees. I'm just gonna maintain that right along at two degrees. Now we're going down to one and three quarters, one and a half, down to one degree, and down to point five. There's one. 
All right, we're gonna stop the next one and we're already poised. The degree is in the right place at 0.5, right, Ken? Right. 0.5. Going up to one degree, one and a quarter, one and a half, one and three quarters, two degrees, right on two, two and a quarter, two and a half, two and three quarters, three degrees. All right, we're going to start going down, down to two and a half, two. One and a half. And one. So that's how simple that is. It's really not hard at all to do. The table saw doesn't strain or do anything as you change the bevel. Cuts perfectly smooth. And now we can take these pieces back aft and see how well they fit in place.